In this video I'm going to be making and installing some longitudinal stairs. Preparing the boiler now for its hydraulic test, and there are two longitudinal stairs which need to be fitted. This is them, and so there's some silver soldering involved. This is a little valve body which has to be soldered on one end, and it has a little nozzle to go in and a hollow stair to silver solder into there and the other stair is just a, like a plug which silver solders into there so as you can see this hollow stair as the name implies has a small hole down the centre so a valve on the back head of the boiler admits steam down this hollow stair right through the boiler to the smoke box and up to the, the blower so the idea is that the uh, steam has blown up the chimney and this creates a draft which draws the fire so if you need to draw the fire you turn on the blower I want the silver soldering on this little nozzle to be as neat as possible so I'm going to try a technique I've not used before and that is apply some tip X or correction fluid around where I want the silver solar to be the idea is that the tip X will prevent silver soldering flowing and sticking to areas I don't want it to be so I'm just going to carefully put some around this nozzle as I say I've not tried this before so I don't know how well it works but I've heard of other people doing it okay so we need to apply some flux so I'm just using a cocktail stick to put a little bit on the inside there These parts have been in the acid bath and they've been degreased. I'm not touching the parts that are going to be soldered. So it should be okay. So that's that. I've just put some flux on the end of the stair. So we'll get that in there. Make sure that I'm using the hollow stair and then the same with the other. So, this is a solid stair, put some flux on the stair. Okay, time to go around the back and uh, silver solder them. That looks a nice job, not too much solder. Nice even penetration. 
very pleased with that. We've completed the silver soldering now, so we just need to get it installed into the boiler. Just to fit a ceiling washer, I'm just fitting a copper washer. I've machined this to the right thickness to give the correct orientation so that this nozzle here is in the right uh, position so this is where it needs to come through and it's a bit tricky to get it lined up it in from this side so we need to get that centralized so I've taken a bit of a copper tube and just cut out a section to try and put that in as a pucker to centralise the uh, steer. So we'll just pack it in there. So this is the fitting that has to uh, go in. So it's threaded for the bush and it's also threaded for the, the steer. And I've also put a copper washer on as well. Okay, that feels like it's engaged with the steer. Screw in from the other end. Just back that off a little bit. Using Loctite 542, put a bit on. And the same on the other side, back it off. That's in Loctite 542 in there. Thanks for watching.